Koro is the master of birds. He also happens to be the father of our protagonist, Noah, portrayed by the inimitable Owen Teague. And we meet them at, a, at a, a very poignant moment in their respective trajectories. Uh, my boy is coming of age. Is we, we are witnessing the bonding ceremony. Now, I, uh, I hope not to divulge too much about that, but I think for humans it would be closely associated to a rite of passage. You know, there's a transition that happens, and I think perhaps the veil of innocence is lifted. So, whereas I love my boy, I'm also pondering, like, do I, can I not maybe hold on to his childhood for a second longer, you know? Because now the story of ourselves are going to be told. They're going to have uh, perhaps knowledge about origin and maybe try to shield him from, let's say, the darker side of what we as a species are capable of. I think it's a, it's a great privilege at my age to be presented with a character that you're going to attack at least somewhat from one's own physicality. You're going to that's that's going to be your first filter of negotiation, right? It's not it's not the cerebral or cognitive side. And we worked uh, with Elaine for a number of weeks, and I think it's just to create an awareness of what the body is doing, that we move differently. Little things that I, that I was un unaware of. So it's helpful to sort of assimilate into that process and at least start thinking about physicality, limitations when it, when it comes to that. And that is not something that I think you could just arrive on set and turn on and off like that. It needs to be uh, an assimilated understanding, physical understanding. So we spent a number of weeks going through that, getting into the body. And it is so idiosyncratic because as, as human beings, we all move and behave in different ways. The same goes for the, these primates, you know. They move in their own peculiar ways. And it's trying to find that so that it's, it comes from a lived-in experience as opposed to something that you necessarily have to think about, you know. It was great because I've worked with some of the stunt people before, so we just slotted straight back in. Uh, they know me. I, uh, I think fundamentally that's the reason why anyone, well, me, why I would have wanted to become an actor. And it was like being inspired by Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris, you know. I, I like the physicality of it and I'd like to go all the, all the way with that. Well, specifically, I know that the legacy of, of Caesar is something that we do pay attention to and how a particular st stance could be misconstrued either in a malicious or a benevolent way. I, you know, you see that with uh, what we, religion, for example. You could use the exact same text and uh, vulgarize it or use it for the greater good, right? So there's some of that, but I think the, the, the delivery in and of itself certainly is homage, is it not? That's, that's what I said uh, a moment ago. We, as a bunch of uh, uh, creatives, get to try our hand in this time, this zeitgeist, at continuing that, that uh, legacy. Right, so I, I, I think it is in and of itself a homage.